Welcome to Wicked Romantic Poetry. This is Somerset by L.D. Green. This is Somerset. This is where we were when we met. This is Somerset. This is where we were when we wed. This is Somerset. This is where we're buried. Now we are dead. This is Somerset. This is Somerset. Loved Not Shoved by L.D. Green. Stretched out, I asked her so. I want to memorize from your curly swirls to the pinkness of your naked toes. And now, as I lie upon you, I shall whisper things I want you to know. Always leave your bedroom window cracked a bit, for I will be the cold breeze that breaks in and gets your breast erect. Yes, I will be on you and under you, and yes, press beside you. And now, as I come inside you, I let you know I love you. And now, by my leaving, I let you know that I will always love you. And once again, I leave loved and not shoved. And now that we've heard both poems, let's take a minute to talk about them a little bit. The first poem, titled This is Somerset, to me sounded like kind of the circle of life for a love story. It starts out a couple meets and soon after they marry and finally they die together and are buried together. And it reminds me of the eternal sense that people get about love that even in death it continues keeping these two together and that they wanted to be together even after they were no longer of this earth. And I thought that was a really strong message throughout the poem, especially the, rep the repetition of um, the place that they met. The second poem, called Love Not Shoved, had a definitely different feel. This poem, to me, sounded very much like it described a passionate relationship that had maybe not the same type of depth as the one described in This is Somerset, but it was definitely a very intense relationship. There was a lot of physicality and intimate language throughout the piece, and I think that gave you a really vivid image of the type of relationship it was describing. And it emphasized, especially in the end, that there was a sense of even though the person had to leave, there was still love in that situation, and the other person clearly reciprocated that since they were loved, not shoved. So I thought that was a really, really interesting take on that type of relationship given in that poem.